Hi, my name is Mark, and whether you're a part-time, full-time mechanic, or even a guy that works out of his garage on the weekend servicing his own vehicle, I'm going to show you some simple ways to service and repair your vehicle with our how-to videos. Let's get started. Our service vehicle is a 1998 Ford Explorer 4.0 liter engine. I'm going to show you how to clean the EGR ports. If these ports become clogged or very dirty, it could actually cause the engine to overheat. You also may fail an emissions test. You can experience a rough idle, even poor fuel economy. Let's jump under the hood and locate this valve. The tools required for today's service is going to be a small shop vac or vacuum cleaner some gloves, safety gloves, and glasses. We're going to require 10 millimeter socket, 8 millimeter socket, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch socket to put on the end of our brushes. We're going to need some brushes for the cleaning, a large 25 millimeter wrench, carburetor cleaner, some paper towels, and a fender cover. So our EGR valve is located right up front here. Nice and easy, we can get to it. First thing we want to do is take our large wrench. We're going to hold our EGR valve. We're going to break it loose. We just want to loosen it right now. Don't want to take it all the way off. We're going to loosen the two bolts. There's one in the front, one in the back. Let's just go ahead, loosen those. Let's go ahead and remove our vacuum line. Be careful not to break it. Now we can unscrew our nut. There's our EGR valve. We'll set that aside. Our EGR port is right here. We can loosen this up so we can gain some access to clean. There's one bolt right up front. And there's another in the rear. Now that should allow us just enough room where we can stick our cleaning tool in here and some carb cleaner. Let's go ahead and get our tools ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and clean our EGR ports. There's one on top, one on bottom. We're going to run a little brass brush in there with our ratchet. We're going to use some carburetor cleaner to spray in there also while we're doing that. We're going to go in and out a few times, top and bottom. We can also use a vacuum cleaner to suck each one of these ports and the surrounding area. So let's go ahead. We're going to put some rags down, little paper towels. Start that out first. Let's shove our brush in there. We can move our tank over a little bit so we get a nice straight angle. and do the bottom. Once we do that, we're going to get in there with some carb cleaner. Spray lightly. We can see some black soot coming out of there. That's good. We want to clean that best possible. I'm going to clean this one on the bottom. Let's do a little more inspection here, see how it's clean. Looks pretty good. It doesn't look like that we have to use a vacuum cleaner right now. If you need to, just put the vacuum cleaner up on there. 
Let's go ahead and inspect our EG R valve now. We're going to want to clean this. We do not want to put any sharp objects or anything in there. You don't want to put screwdrivers. You don't want to sandblast it. You just kind of want to just kind of wipe it clean. This is a very delicate piece. You really need to be careful with it. We're also going to remove our gasket and replace it. You want to check the pintle inside there. Make sure that it looks like it can move freely. You also want to twist this top. Sometimes they come loose at the seams and that'll cause for a bad EGR valve. If this thing moves at all, time to replace it. So let's go ahead and clean this. Make sure our surface is clean to put a gasket on there. Everything looks good. Let's go back and reinstall this with our new gasket. Let's go ahead, reinstall our EGR valve. What we want to do is we want to install the first one first. Just get this started and then you can roll it back. We're going to take our bolt, we're going to start it in the gasket just a little bit. This is so we don't drop the bolt that goes down an engine and we have to chase it. We're just going to roll that down, take our socket, We don't want to tighten them up all the way right now. We just want to tighten these two bolts up on top here just a little bit. We still want this thing to wiggle so we can get our nut started. We carefully want to start our nut to make sure that we don't cross thread it. Once we get that on, now we can go ahead and tighten our bolts to manufacturer specifications. We're going to tighten our big nut while we hold our EGR valve. Now we can reinstall our reservoir bolts. Now that we have this EGR valve tightened, let's go ahead reinstall our vacuum line. Then we can go for a test drive. So I just showed you how to clean the EGR valve and ports. You know what? Very simple to do this. We took it for a test drive and this car runs great.